When we think about magnifying glasses, this is not a new concept. Magnifying glasses came out around 1021 AD, according to some sources. And they've been using all kinds of things from binoculars to telescopes to microscopes. I mean, it's just endless um, what magnifying glasses have been used for. And uh, we know they were used to start fires in the early 1800s as well. Um, in the old days, when people would go into uh, some of the mercantile places uh, to get tobacco or something like that, sometimes they uh, would be given a small magnifying glass to light their pipes. Back in those days, they were mostly pipe smokers, uh, really before cigarettes came out. So with lighting a pipe, you don't need, uh, you know, to, to turn it into a flame. You just need it to get it to smolder. And so that's what a magnifying glass did in those days. And when you could buy a tender box, uh, and sometimes they came with a magnifying glass. And again, sometimes the tobacco came with a magnifying glass uh, as well. So, you know, they were aware of the usefulness of a magnifying glass and uh, how it could be used to start a fire. Of course, it's pretty useless at night time to start a fire with a magnifying glass. So uh, this was something that you had to do to uh, create a fire earlier and keep that fire burning uh, until it got nighttime a lot of times. So, and then there are other ways to make fire besides using a magnifying glass, of course, the, the bow and drill uh, technique and so forth. And I think by the 1820s, 1830s, they had matches, and uh, that would probably be expensive for a lot of people back in those days. But So it's whatever you whatever you want to use to make a, a fire with. There are many different ways uh, to make a fire. So it's interesting, a lot of times it was flint steel for making fires all the way back to probably uh, the eighth century AD and um, maybe before even then. But as long as man's been around, he's been making fires and there's a lot of different ways he can do that. So um, it's become a lost art for a lot of people. But the magnifying glass brings back a lot of historical memories when you think about it, uh, when people first started using them to make fires and uh, to light their pipes and so forth. Just a little history on the magnifying glass. Okay, guys, what we're going to do here is take some uh, punk wood. This is called punk wood right here. It's rotten wood, but... You can squeeze it. Probably see it better. You can squeeze it. See, I'm squeezing it, and it pops back up. It's like a sponge, just like a sponge almost. Okay. Now, if if you pull on this right here and it's real mushy, it's too rotten. But like in this state, it's perfect. Okay. And you can easily just tear pieces of it off. So. This is called punk wood by a lot of people. It has other names too. But we're going to take a piece of punk wood, like right here. Let's take this one right here, piece of punk wood. And uh, let me get out of the light, uh, the darkness, the shadow. Okay, this is punk wood right here. We're going to take that and set a, a little stone on it. And then we're going to take a piece of white gold cotton and we're using solar power our magnifying glass here now um, if you try to light cotton with your magnifying glass it'll burn but it won't really catch on fire very well at all by itself punk wood if you try to light it by itself it'll burn and smolder but it really won't catch on fire by itself very well so you just need to add something to it this is pretty fibrous right here. So. I got this little rock to hold it right there. And. Well, let's see what we can do with this right here. 
wear your sunglasses when you do this because it's it's really bright. Now you see we got our stringlet right here. And I love this string right here because it, it burns really, really good. It burns like lighter wood. And see, you could, you could put together some wood right here and light it with uh, this string right here. And you see how that punk wood is starting to burn? And then you could just add some more stuff to it, some leaves, and, and you can build a fire real easy from that, okay? Notice our string here, though, how well it burns. And see, the wind is blowing it, and it's still burning. So this is a three-chord string. I've got a video called Secret Chord. And this is just a simple cord right here. It's, but punk wood will smolder a good bit too. And you see it smoldering right there. Okay, what we're going to do now, guys, is uh, take some lighter wood. This is lighter wood, which is, uh, for those who don't know, lighter wood comes from... Um, pine trees, the sap goes down in the tree, usually it's a dead pine tree sometimes, and uh, if you find a dead pine tree and the root is sticking up, you can usually cut into the heart of it and find uh, this rich sap that's gone back down into it, and it burns like it's been soaked in kerosene, so it burns really, really well. And so, we're just going to cut a few little slivers here off. To make a fire and uh, now with a regular uh, knife a bushcraft knife uh, the long knife you could use the back of your blade to scrape this right here is not a good idea because it could fold up on you but it's not really sharp enough of a 90 degree angle on this blade here this is a nice little knife right here so We'll just cut some little featherings here. The wind don't blow them away. And it makes it easier if you cut on the uh, corners of the wood. Keep whittling down to the corners. This wood is really hard and tough, and it burns really, really good. Okay, this, we're just using a minimal amount here. Usually, if you're going to make a fire, you're going to use a lot more than that. And we're using solar energy again here. And we've got a string right here. And we fluff it up. If you don't fluff it up, you're not going to get this string to burn. Because this, that's too hard. It's really tightly woven there. So, let's see what we can do with it. And we got punk wood over here, uh, which we could, punk wood, you can tear punk wood apart like 
about like cotton. And we can sprinkle some of that over that. But you don't really need punk wood when you're using um, when you're using uh, fat lighter wood, we call it. Put your sunglasses on. And I get a beam on the wood first, then I move it to the uh, to the uh, fat wood. One thing about being in the woods and stuff is that um, you gotta have a lot of patience, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we see from here that you can start the uh, lighter wood on its own, okay? And we got a piece of punk wood right here. And the punk wood punk wood burns really good. And maybe you see the uh, Pump will make some hot embers. Once you get that flame, we could have lit it this right here, a secret cord with it. And once we got that flame, you see it's still smoldering. And uh, you would have had a good wick right here. It works like a wick. I was studying different types of wicks, trying to come up with a wick that would work. And this works really well uh, for me, for what I'm using it for, is a fire starter. Uh, once you get your fire going and we saw that there were several ways to to light this right here That works real well too in my other videos on fire starting Okay guys on this one we picked some leaves up here. These are just uh, really dry leaves make sure you pick the ones up on top of the ground that's been in the sunlight you can kind of look up at the sun and see where it's been and where it's been shining on the ground for a while to make sure your leaves are dry okay now we got a little bit of wind so to put you a rock up here now the sun is this direction so i need to turn this around so i can get the sunlight to hit it right okay and You can take your punk wood here and slice off a, a piece of your punk wood and put on here. This is this is to help your your fire afterward, not to not to start it, but to keep it going. Okay, punk wood is oh, it's like cutting jello almost. It's just so easy to cut. Okay, and you could have a piece of lighter wood, and this is a piece of lighter wood which will burn for a long time. And then we could have a string right here, which we've seen a string will burn for a long time. The secret cord here, get that fluffy. So we've got the leaves 
we want to catch on fire with our magnifying glass. We've got punk wood we want to catch on fire. We've got a little sliver of um, of the uh, lighter wood. And we can throw one tiny more piece on there. And then we've got our string here. So we can see where um, we could burn a lot of things, right? And uh, so let's light that and see. Now, the sun is this direction here. I'm going to focus here to get my beam where I want it. That way I'll know it'll be right when I get, get there. And again, wear your sunglasses. And you, the circle is kind of kind of what we uh, kind of it's not a round circle it's kind of like a football that's not what you want you, you just keep turning your glass until you get a perfectly round circle and try to hold it right there and yeah, maybe you can see there's a flame there and that took how long just a couple of seconds And now the flame is up here with our punk wood and with uh, our um, uh, fat lighter. See how the fat lighter is working right there? And then we can take our string right here and light that. So we have plenty of fire right here. And... You can probably see here that the uh, punk wood it burns really well. And those leaves are burning up. Now at one. But that's all you need to get started. Now normally when you create a flame, you know, uh, you don't leave it like that. You already have, like we could have put a, a handful of leaves on top of this right here and got that flame up higher and then we could put our, cut our wood here already. Cut everything in advance. Don't wait till the last thing. I'm just showing you how to make the fire itself. And again, with the cord right here, you could uh, walk around with that. You could stick it in here. There's a hole right there. Stick that in here and, and set this on fire real easy. You see how it smolders and all. So the punk wood, it will flame up really, really good like, like the cotton does. You see how, how it breaks up into nothing. So this is always a good source. To, and this is number one fire starter in, in, in snow, sleet, ice. And this one is amazingly uh, the fat lighter wood, how it burns. And then we got our string right here, which is helpful. And uh, that's the light, that's the uh, punk wood, rotten wood burning right there that's smoldering. It burns like a cork. And you could maybe scoop that up with some leaves and stuff like that and set that on fire. I hope that helps out a little bit, guys, on starting your fire, give you a couple of ideas of using magnifying glass solar power again a larger magnifying glass uh, works really well it allows you to hold it um, a little bit bigger beam on your whatever you're um, trying to burn uh, than a small one but a small one will work too okay guys right here we're going to light our string and uh, once you have your string lit then it's a really good fire starter And we're going to take three or four leaves here and uh, use those right there to help ignite this string. And we'll put a rock on top of that. And remember on your string right here, you got to fluff it up. Just rotate it in your hand and fluff it up really good. Everything has to be on the micro level when you're starting a fire, generally. 
the best results. Okay. And yeah, we got some uh, punk wood, this rotten wood right here. And we got lighter wood. If we were making a fire, we just want to show you how to start it up. But once you get this lit, it works really, really well. Okay, you can probably see right here that our string is lit. And from there, we could put our punk wood here. And punk wood, I don't know if you can tell or not, but punk wood burns really good like paper. And see, the wind is blowing about two or three miles an hour. So that's how you would start it out right there. And just using the dry leaves, make sure they're really dry. And this is this punk wood right here. And that's just the ember right there. So that's how you do it with the string right here. And you could carry this string and you could take your lighter wood and light it at the bottom. Now, if the wind is blowing this away, then stand in front of the wind and block the wind. And that way you can keep your flame going a lot better for a longer time. This, this does really good in the wind a lot of times too, so that's another helpful thing. But yeah, this uh, punk wood, it just smolders forever. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Gary J.